Hello, everyone. My guest today is Andre Podorak. He founded a digital agency called Vozoom in 2008 after his CS graduation. He then did work for the U.S. Navy, H&M, and Four Seasons, whilst, and then stumbled upon the pain of code reusability across projects by anyone without technical skills. He built an MVP back in 2015, closed the agency a year later, and doubled down on what he's building today, which is called Widgetic. All right, Andre, are you ready to take us to the top? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell us about the company. So, so what does Widgetic do, and how do you make money? What's your revenue model? Sure. So we are building an easy to deploy app store for web publishers. Uh, and we are a uh, pure SaaS play, basically. Um, but we work as a marketplace, right? So on one side, we have, you know, developers building these apps. And then on the other, we have platforms to which we distribute the apps and we charge on a monthly or yearly basis. Okay. And who are you charging the developers or the, or the businesses that launch the app store? No, so we charge, um, the plan is to charge the, the platforms that we integrate with. And then we have to split the revenue with, you know, the developers that are building on our platform. Okay, so you said the plan is, are you pre-revenue today? We are not pre-revenue. We are doing things that don't scale, basically. So we ourselves, in order to build, you know, the tools for developers, uh, we act as a developer ourselves. We build the tools and then we distribute those in different, you know, platforms. So we, we get some revenue out of that, but we don't have uh, yet any revenue from actual integrations with, you know, B2B platforms that we plan to sell to. Okay. So you're, st- you're basically right now kind of hustling, doing consulting work, no SaaS revenue yet. Uh, no consulting work either. Uh, we work with, let me, for example, I'm not sure. Uh, I think you are familiar. Maybe I know you are familiar with uh, Webflow because you had uh, the CEO in an interview, yeah. but, um, there's other major players like Weebly and Wix and so forth, right? And the big players, they already have app stores, okay? But the small players like even Webflow or ReadyMag or thousands of others, they, they cannot, or Cloudflare, for example, they, can, they cannot have an app store because they don't yet have enough, um, you know, user um, the, they don't have enough market basically to sell the apps to. Andre, so, just to be clear, when you say app store, you're, the most famous example of this would be like the Salesforce app exchange or the HubSpot app marketplace or things like, or the Zapier kind of app integration. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you have similar stuff uh, that web publishers offer to their users. Okay. Got it. So what you're saying is you're helping companies that don't want to build their own internal Salesforce app exchange. You're helping them build their own kind of app exchange. Yeah. And we, we also handle basically the developer um, you know, the, the developer ecosystem, they don't have to find developers to build the applications specifically for them because they build apps for Widgetic and then we distribute them to a wide range of, uh, you know, platforms, which basically means that um, they are not distributing only to say 10,000 users. In total, they can distribute to the same amount of users as Wix has or Weebly and stuff and like how, that. So how do you convince the developers to spend their time and energy building apps for you? I mean, I assume you don't pay them all full-time salaries and, you don't, and you're still building out the marketplace. No, so it's, it's basically uh, the, same, the same process um, they would have to go through for Weebly, say, or for Wix, right? But what we do is, first of all, we enable the publishers to have those app stores because right now, even if they would want to offer, you know, apps on say ReadyMang or similar platforms, they cannot since there's no, no, there's no app store existing, uh, you know, on either of those smaller, uh, players. I would say so right now do, people do like API integrations using like Zapier or something like that. Zapier. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Would you agree? If, no, no, that's right. That was a question. It, it, would you say like, if they don't have your tool, the best alternative is, some kind of API integrations using Zapier? I can give you an example. For example, um, there's Cloudflare. I know you had uh, the CEO as well in an interview. Um, they made a $100 million fund and they bought a platform called Eager to try to uh, release such an app store. Yet we, we released some of our apps with them. And because they don't have enough users, then as a developer, we don't have incentives, you know, to keep building applications for their platform because we, there's, you know, the, the old chicken and egg problem, right? So, um, basically that's the current, uh, that's the current state of smaller, you know, site builders, even if they would want to go through platforms like Zapier, someone has to offer the application they have to integrate in their, 
you know, in their um, platform. So there's not many people doing that. Okay, so how I'm confused. How are you making money today? Who's paying you? All right. So as I said, we are doing things that don't scale right now. And basically the, the numbers we'll speak about are numbers that, let's say, developers building on our platform in the future could speak about, right? So for example, we are integrated with the major, the major uh, three platforms, which is Shopify, uh, Weebly, and Wix. Okay. Um, and we offer around... Uh, let's say 15 applications that matter on each of those, um, more or less on each of them, right? Because for example, on Wix, we offer only some, and then on Shopify and Weebly, we offer different. This is currently not hypothetical in the future, right? Yeah, yeah, this is currently, yeah. And uh, those apps are purchased by the users of Shopify and Weebly, and they, uh, they pay monthly, you know, for each application, um, a monthly fee, basically. Okay, so they're paying Shopify 10 bucks a month for an app, and that app was built by you and put in the Shopify app exchange by you. So on $10 a month, how much do you keep and how much do you pass through to the developer? Uh, when, you, you know, when you say Shopify exchange, I presume you say like the, the app store. The sure, app. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so for example, Shopify gets 20% and Weebly, uh, I, I think as well, they get 20%. It's more or less like Apple, between 20 and 30%. Okay, so that's so $10, so they keep $2, there's $8 left. Where does the $8 go? How do you make money? How do your developers make money? Uh, the $8 uh, is basically what we get, right? Um, and the same type, type of deal we would do with, with publishers, basically. You know, Andre, okay, so I get that. So how much of the eight do you keep and how much do you pass through to your developers? We didn't speak about the team. It's So the $8, uh, we keep it entirely because there's no developers yet. You don't have that this. marketplace built out yet? No, no. These are all your own developers that you just pay full time? Yeah, it's just uh, the three of us founders doing this. Okay. So do you want to get other developers building on this? And if so, what cut would you pay them? So uh, basically, we, would, we are looking at uh, doing something like... Um, Envato, for example, if you know where we we would have we would be in the the the, the we would be a pure a pure platform play. We would have developers building on on top of us, and then we would distribute to all the other partners. Uh, hopefully, precisely on the same on the same uh, revenue cut, where we would then um, split the twenty percent uh, with with the um, the platform. Okay, right? so ten dollars. Okay, so a Shopify user spends ten bucks to get the app from the Shopify exchange. Shopify keeps two bucks. You then yes. keep another two bucks. So then six dollars goes through to the end developer. No, it's something like this. So first it's not Shopify. Let's say someone that doesn't have an app. So let's say ReadyMac. Yes. So uh, we offer our apps, say to ReadyMac. And then a user comes and they they, they pay ten dollars. Okay. Um we don't we don't um the, the platforms can decide to monetize how, however they want. This what you just said is how Shopify and Weebly monetizes. But for example, maybe some platforms might decide, look, we are going to offer all the widgets for free for premium users or whatever they want to monetize it um, by, right? And then the way we get to charge the platforms is on a, a tired pricing uh, uh, system per active users. I see. And we I call see. it right. So so we we don't we don't impose the platforms. We, we offer the platform as a white label, right? Our product to them. So we don't impose how they should uh, I make understand. money on you're, their own. You're, they, can, they can monetize however the heck they want, but they're going to pay you on an out and active install. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And where are you at today? What's, what's the company doing today in terms of revenue? So right now, I can tell you how, as I said, the numbers for what we, would, what we are making as an app developer ourselves because we are... Um, building the apps to, you know, to release them to the, to the different platforms. So we are making about six, uh, six, 60 K on Weebly on annual revenue, and then about, uh, 10 K on, on Shopify, but we just launched, um, less than around a year ago. Okay. So 70,000 total across those two platforms. That's for the year. Yeah. With weeks, it's 75 K uh, annual revenue in total. Okay. Yeah. So just to be clear, Wix 60, Shopify 10, 70,000 total. Shopify, so Shopify 10, Weebly, uh, Weebly 65, and, and the remaining would be Wix. Okay. Sorry, this shouldn't be this complex. So how much money 
how much money are you making per month right now? Uh, around eight to 10,000. Okay. Got it. And that's coming from you guys just doing the, is that, is that actually recurring revenue from active installs? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. So, so let me see if I can summarize this and you tell me if it's accurate. Um, sure. you're doing stuff right now that doesn't scale, which is totally fine. You're hustling, building these own applications. You're putting them on Shopify and Weebly and Wix. They're app exchanges. Um, every t- you have a negotiation with them that says every time these get activated one time, you pay us X amount of money. All that added up right now, you're making about between seven and $8,000 per month. Um, you are almost right in the sense that uh, we are integrating with already existing app stores. So Shopify and Wix and Weebly and about like 100 others we plan to integrate with, we don't have to negotiate with them or partner with them to be in their app stores. Well, right? then how so do you we, know how much they pay? I thought you said that you negotiate yeah, yeah. per active install. The, that's, that's what we plan to do with other pla- with platforms we are going to so integrate. So you're not doing that yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the... I see. That's our... Right now, you are just basically getting what they have already established as an app exchange or an app store, whatever they want to call it. You're essentially, they view you as the developer. You're just getting the developer cut and that's about eight grand per month right now. Yes. Got it. In the future, you'll help companies that don't have their own app exchanges launch their own app exchanges and then you'll just negotiate a per active install payment to you every single month. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, I see. Okay. And when did you guys launch this company? What year? So we we started working on it while we had the agency back in 2015, um, and then in November, so two years ago, exactly November 2016, we started working on on the on the project. Okay. And have you guys bootstrapped or raised capital? Bootstrapped so far. Bootstrapped. Right. And where's everybody based? So I'm here in Spain, and my two co-founders uh, are in Romania and Yash. Ah, Spain. Okay, very good. Spain and Romania. And um, are there just there's three of you right now, or any other full time people? Yeah, just 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 uh, three of us. Okay, three of you guys. That's great. So Spain, Romania, eight, six to eight grand per month, bootstrapped. Um, you're working with it. Sounds like three kind of outlets right now. A year ago today, how much revenue were you doing per month? So we um, on 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 uh, Weebly, for example, we were doing about forty five k per year. Uh, and we grew like twenty uh, percent. And on Shopify, that's the issue. We we grew um, about two egg, like two hundred percent or something because we we went from three k to ten k. Yeah. So like just that. to just to make this easy to compare, today you're doing eight grand per month as a company across all your different relationships. A year ago today, how much were you doing total per month? Um. Hmm. Maybe maybe half half that. Okay, got it. On average, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know I know you're esti- I'm asking you to estimate here, but I'm just trying to get a sense of growth rate. Um, okay, so four thousand bucks per month. That's good. Very good. So how I mean how do you scale this from eight thousand bucks a month to eighty thousand dollars a month? So scaling um uh, the current the current model we are using is easy. Basically, we have to integrate, we have to do more integrations with existing platforms, for example, Adobe Muse, you know, WordPress and many others. Um so that wouldn't be necessarily our main, our main, uh, you know, problem right now, what we are focused on, but what we are actually interested in is, um, the type of applications that we build and the type of integrations that we do, we only do them not for the monthly revenue we are earning, but actually to build on the technology, uh, you know, stack we have. And then once this is enough, we can go, we can proceed and, you know, uh, sell this to our part, potential partners. Good. You know, be it publish those platforms. Good, good, good. All right, Andre, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Mm, that would be inspired my, by Marty Kagan. Inspired. The, good. Inspired. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, Tony Ulwick. He's the CEO of Strategen. Number three, how many, uh, or sorry, what's your favorite online tool for building your business? I've seen that, uh, you know, people usually mention the, the, the standards why I want. I would say product hunt because that's where you find the best tools for <laughs> building a business. And number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Six or seven. Okay. Around. And what's your situation? Married, single, kiddos? I have an awesome kid and I'm, I'm married and my wife is pregnant with the second one. Oh, congratulations. So two, two, one, one already, another one on the way. And how old are you? 33. 33. Last question. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Um, 
prioritize process over uh, intuition. Process so when over you have what? To make over intuition. So if you have to make a big decision on anything, it better be based on a process than your pure intuition. Nice process over intuition. Launched Widgetic back in 2015. They started working on it. 2016 full time. They're now doing eight grand per month. Right now, they're just basically building as developers apps for Shopify, Weebly, Wix, these marketplaces. They get their developer cut. That's how they get eight grand per month. That's up from 4K per month just a year ago. They're bootstrapping this. Their ultimate vision is to basically help companies that want to have their own app exchange launch a white label version of these app exchanges. They'll then get paid on a kind of per install basis and they'll scale from there early days, but they're growing. We'll see what happens. Andre, thanks for taking us to the top. Thanks. See you.